Hello! Hello, AOS fans! It's the Agents of Beast Grave! And tonight I'm playing The Eyes of the Nine. And I'm gonna be Greshrax the Spoilers. Coco, coco! Meh. So, this boy for me again. I haven't played this boy in a little while, so, and you're playing the eyes. I haven't played the eyes for a while. Last time was against Nurgle, wasn't it? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, we did, we did, we did, we did, we did do a Clash of the Worlds. Yeah. <laughs> Clash of the Old Enemies, wasn't we? Yes, we did do that. That yeah. was a good game. I love the eyes of the nine, as you know, and obviously it's a bit of a channel favourite. In fact, it's a bit of everybody favourite, I think, isn't it? Everyone loves uh, another dog. Yeah, exactly. And um, this one, it's not an Andrew Marlow deck, though. Oh. Uh, no, it's Eric who actually I think took this deck to, or, or a variation of this deck to sixth in the Vassal tournament. Oh uh, yes. Um, so I've got a lot to live up to. I think it's a, like a lot of the decks, I've been saying this a lot, I think it's a bit of a practice one, you know, it's, uh, it's yeah. quite a high skill level, so it kind of rules me out. Mm. So I'm not <laughs> sure how it's going to go, but we'll see. Oh, okay. he's, he's had great success with it, hopefully I will. I don't really know how I feel about the matchup. The spoilers. I just don't Depends. know. Yeah, I just, I just, I've got no idea. Yeah, yeah. You're I, bound to be doing something crazy as well. Well, I, do I have yours, got a Marlowe deck. You have got a Marlowe deck. I have got a Marlowe deck. deck. So mine does have a particular idea in mind, and it's hoping that I get that perfect match. So we'll see if I get it or not. Ooh, perfect match. Oh, So we'll see you in the beast grave. Bye. Hello. Hello, everybody. We're all set up. Ready to rock and roll. Yes, and I won the roll off, which is very rare. You do, yeah. You won the boards and you won yeah, the yeah. placement. Yeah, so I chose that I let Pete place first and then I longboarded him. I don't like you. Because that is the raison d'etre of this deck, I'm afraid, mm. Pete. Oh, good, okay. good. It's going to be one of those kind of games. I'm is afraid it? so. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> so we've put everybody up and you've stuck everybody at the back of your board. Everybody's at the guys. back, yes. They're just they're just down here waiting the for the backy this back things. It's backy this back something or other. <laughs> <laughs> something or something or other. So we've got our we've drawn our cards. We've all we've both kept all our cards. Um, yep. So yep. we're ready to rock and roll. So those are our cards, and it's time for us to roll to see who gets to go first. So you finish setting up first, you do get a plus one crit. Yeah, we do. I'll see if I can match your crit. Oh, matched Stop. it and smashed it. Lots of crits flying around tonight. Oh, they desert me now. Oh. Nothing for you, nothing oh. for me. So now I've got to decide what I'm going to do. So with my first activation, I'm going to use Cautious Ability. Oh, and sneaky. Wibbly, 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 over to there. So he does get a charge token, but I immediately score Shortcut. Shortcut. Pick up a new card. Uh, but in the power step, I've got nothing right now to play. Okay, I'm actually going to try and cast a spell. Ooh. I'm going to try and cast an Arcade Transposition, which is essentially confusion, but for um, but spell. Lightning, double lightning. That means it casts and then it uncasts. <laughs> so it casts, which means these two switch around, and it also means Kacharik inspires. Oh dear. And it also means I score shortcut. That must be the first ever double shortcut <laughs> <laughs> casting in, in the game, I think. Anything else for you in the power step? I'm going to play Vile Invaders, which is choose two friendly fighters and push them up to two hexes Ooh. each, and it's two friendly hunters. So I'm going to push Murgoth half one forward two to there, and I'm going to push old Gnarly Boy two up to there. Back to your good self. Um, I think I'm going to put the Crown of Avarice on Turosh. Oh, okay. So on to your first activation then. So for my first activation, I'm actually going to make a charge action with Turosh. Oh dear. And it's going to go one, two, three to there. I forget they have range. Because they're somehow casters whilst not yes. being casters. They have Sorcerer's Bolt, but yeah, aren't spellcasters. So it's a two sword attack. 
Oh, uh, you suck. Yes, and I do score a warning shot. Boo. I don't suck as much as you thought. <laughs> Anything else in your power step? Uh, I think I will pop ER's instant shield onto Vortimus. I've still got nothing. And then I don't have anything else. Okay, so on to my second go. And on my second activation with Norrell, I'm just going to go one, two to there. And he's going to take a wound, and I'm going to score calculated risk. Nicely done. So I draw a new objective. But in the power step, I've got nothing I want to do right now. No, I have nothing either. For my second activation, I'm going to move Kacharik. Kacharik. Two, three, onto there. Anything in your power step? And I have nothing in the power step. Okay, I've got nothing to do either. So my third go, I'm going to move um, Oshkor this time, and I've kind of fluffed up things a little bit because I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and kill him. <laughs> and <Martyred>. score martyred. <laughs> <laughs> so he's dead. Brilliant. We both get a glory. Right. But in the power step, I've still got nothing I wish to do. Okay. Um, I am going to play Shifting Reflection. Shifty Reflection. Right, I'm going to put Kacharik all the way over here. Ooh, interesting. Oh, all the way down here. I'm going to put Great Fortitude onto Felhoof, I think. Okay. And then I'm going to play Jealous Defense. No, oh, I don't like it. So it's two hammers, three damage. I could re roll um, one or more attack dice. Ouch. Crit. And we re roll one. Two. Oh, two crits. Ouch, that's three damage to them. Three damage. Shift down to two wounds left. And I'll leave him there. I've got nothing else I want to play right now, so it's back to you yep. for your third go. My third go, I'm going to attack with Kacharik. Yeah, thought you might do that. Oh, it's a crit. And another reroll this one. Just a, just a crit? Just a crit. So you do need a crit. No, so that's yeah, a dead so Drakhoof. Dead Drakhoof, I think. Felhoof. That's one glory. You're yeah, not Drakhoof. It's just messing up two completely different models. Yeah, and to add insult to injury, I'm also going to score swift capture at the same time. Nice. I think the writing's already on the wall here. <laughs> Anything in your power step? No. I'm going to put the Amber Bone Spear on old Murgoth Halfhorn there. Fourth activation, I'm going to charge with Murgoth. One, two, three to there. He's going to have a stab at old Karak. Two hammers and two damage with the Amber Bone Spear. One hammer. Oh! Bastard. You bastard. That's three rolls oh. and three crits you've had. Oh. I'm going home. I've got to say, I just this. I've got a. I've got a bad feeling about this good deck. Good cards and just evil dice rolls. I don't know why you play with me, really. No, nope, neither do I. Because <laughs> I can't fight anybody else with a garage. <laughs> Uh, I guess I won't do anything in my power step then. So for my fourth activation, I'm going to charge with Kacharik. One, two, three, to there. Just going to club poor okay. old. Yeah, so it's two, two hammers, two damage, but I do have um, single assists. I won't use the spell dice. That's another crit. Another crit. That's five crits. Yeah, I know. Plus all the crits you rolled before, Anne. He's dead. Wow. There's another glory for you. And that's the end of my turn. I have nothing in the power step. Okay, so on to the end phase then. And I went first, so I have scored catching up. Yes, you have. I have definitely scored <laughs> that. It's not massively ahead. It's like four to six, so it's not terrible. I'm going to get rid of uncontested, um, which is which is dangerous. I'm going to keep my other two cards and I'm going to keep my two ploys and draw three ploys. So it's three ploys and two objectives taken. Over to you. Okay, um, I have scored solid gains 
and then to rub salt into the wound, I've scored uncontested. And another four. Wow, that was like a perfect bow in mean, the dice roll. Just stupid. I mean, just all those crits. If well, I don't know if it would have made much difference if Draknar was still alive. I mean, Felhuth. Sorry, yeah, keep getting, getting. I always get those mixed up. If Felith was still alive, maybe I don't know. Having three guys left has definitely already put me in a tricky situation. Though. Yeah, I can't. This must be one of the first recorded instances of. Uh, of Zinch mopping the floor <laughs> with the enemy. <laughs> yeah, outnumbering them on zone one. Spoiler, so now we know that despoilers are crap than Zinch. <laughs> they are crapper than the no one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so this what, deck is, is good, and I think I've got a perfect draw. Could be. Could be. Yeah, so if you're rolling crit. I've rolled five crits in five attacks, I think. Well, I know it's five attacks, but you've, you've rolled crits every time you've needed yeah, to roll crits, yeah, yeah, so yeah, you've yeah, done what you yeah, needed. Yeah. So what are you doing with the rest of your cards? Um, I'll keep my. I haven't got any power cards left. I shall keep one of the one objective I've got left, um, and then so I draw two new objectives. I don't So here we go, round two, it's time to roll to see who gets to go first, and I honestly don't know what I want, but I've got a crit and three doubles. I think well, Absolutely nothing, nothing, but not nothing, but a single double, no crit. And I think I will have to go first. So I think for the first activation I am going to have another stab at you with the Amber Bone Spear from Murgoth. Oh! <laughs> Get fucked, you big bird bastard! <laughs> So I get two glory. Oh, for that he's one. dead. <laughs> he's proper dead. Now everybody's going, why is he dead? Because there's a lethal hex here, just in case you can't see it. I did push him into that. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, hey, I forgot you. I just assumed you were going to kill him, yes. Oh, so I don't get two glory, though. No, no. Now, as the attack action didn't take you out of action, that means he still has the amber bone spear in his mitts as well. Oh, yes. Yes. In the power step, I've got nothing I want to play right now. Have you not? Yeah. Well, I've got a. Mm, that could do something nuts now. Nuts! I think I'm going to do it, and it's crazy, and it might be a mistake. I'd love to know what your comments are behind this. Funny enough, we had a very similar discussion, or a very personal discussion, to what's about to happen on um, this score today. But I need to play a couple of cards, which then means I need to do a chain of other things. I, so I'm going to Whenever do you do this, you say, I don't know if this is a mistake, you always bloody pull it off. Well, always, it's going to work. Always. It's going to work, but I don't know whether later I might regret it. I see, okay. So I'm going to start, I'm going to put Eldritch Ward on Vortimus. Anything for you? I've got nothing else I want to play. I I power step pass. Okay. I'm going to play Spectral Armor on him too. Okay, and then, if you've still got nothing else... Still nothing. I'm going to play Distraction. Mm. There's Dragnar back there. Okay. Still got nothing for me. Okay. In that case, I'm going to play Centre of Attention and pull... More Murgoth back to there. Interesting, but yep, still nothing from me. Okay, and then I'm going to play Sidestep and put Narvia there. Turosh. Turosh there, sorry. Okay, still nothing from me. Okay, which means I score Frantic Exchange. <laughs> well done. <laughs> No, I've just got to blow all the <laughs> Exactly. Uh, but, but I wanted to play the upgrades on Vortimus. Yeah, so once you get into that point, you're almost pot committed. And, uh, yeah, exactly. And I thought, well, I could wait, in yeah. case you, you might play a couple later. Yeah. But actually, I'm just going to blow all five cards. Just because of what done. I've got in my deck, I need to I need to be working towards something. What could that something be? So it's onto your first activation now, then. Yeah. So for my first activation, I'm going to use Vortimus's ability... To summon the blue horror blue, blue, right blue, blue, blue. down there. To my very back one there. Probably. Right there. Yeah. Right Possibly now. a mistake to put him there, but I've done it now. Onto the power step. Well, I haven't got any cards. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, you just blew the lot. So I'm going to use distraction and push Turosh back onto that objective. Okay. Anything for you? Nothing for me, sir. Okay, and then I'm going to use Keen Avarice, which will give me plus one dice and cleave Ooh. if I happen to attack him. Okay, he doesn't have shields. No, I know, it's, but it'll give me the plus one dice yeah, still. So. 
So for my second activation then, I'm going to charge with Course the Sneak. He's just going to charge to there. And he's going to have a go at Turosh. And Course the Sneak rolls two swords normally, so it's three swords because of um, Keen Everest. Okay. Three swords time. A crit. crit. So I need a crit to need a Zero. So that does one damage to him, pushes him back and kills him <laughs> with the lethal hex. So you don't get to, I don't get to use Crown of Avarice. Nope, and I do gain a glory for that. I do score martyred. You git. So I'll do that again. I'm gonna put Victor's experience onto Draknar whilst I'm about it, which basically just gives him um, makes him a hunter, just oh, in okay. case it's useful later on. It's okay. one of the ones that you can put on someone as part of a reaction if he kills somebody. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just figured I'd put it on there because I, I don't think I want to go after your blue horror. I might regret that, but yeah. <laughs> Horror tomes, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, so it's on to your second activation. My second activation, I'm going to move Vortimus. He's going to move one, two, three to there. And I'm just going to move him. Just a move. I have realised as well, all my guys have inspired now, because there are two of yours dead. Oh, yes. So nothing in your power step because you've got no card, so it's onto my third go. And I'm going to draw power card. And that is not the card I wanted to see right now. Which is a problem for me. And I've got nothing in my power step. Okay, my third turn, I'm going to shoot at Korsh with Vortus. Mm-hmm. One swirling. Okay. One success. Now, Korsh does have two defense yes. dice now. He's inspired. Dodges. No. Two shields. That's, ooh, it's, it's one damage. One damage. So he's still got a wound. Um, he's still got a wound. Well, we'll push him back to there. And it does inspire Vortimus as well. Oh, yes. It takes him up to three defense dice with IR as shield on. So I've got nothing in your power steps onto my fourth and final go. And I'm just going to move Draknar one, two, three, four up to there. And that's me done. Nothing in my power step. Okay, um, I have got nothing either. I think for my final turn, I will shoot at Korsh again. Okay, this will kill him if you can get it off. No. You misses. Failed. Okay. That's it. We're on to the end phase then, because there's nothing to do in the power step. And I went first again. And I've scored nothing, which is proper done me in. So I'm going to, at this point, get rid of perfect match. Because I've got four objectives left. I'm just not going to get through them. I had solid gains, but I only got two glory, I believe. Just just not good enough. Two kills, and I didn't get anything else. Uh, and I think I'm going to get rid of solid gains and conquerors and draw three new cards. As conquerors do. Uh, conquerors is stand on an opponent's objective or stand on an objective in your opponent's half at the end of the round which I was close to but again I didn't have the movement shenanigans I needed which I had the previous rounds oh, yeah, if the... you'd had the hunter one now you exactly could have it, yeah. that would have been perfect but yeah I was, I was SOL there I'm also going to get rid of um... it took me ages to work out what SOL meant you just <laughs> say it all the time it took me ages to work out what it meant I'm going to get rid of the mutating maul I'm going to keep my last two cards, so I'm going to draw three power cards and two and three objectives. Okie dokie, you're not going to like me very much. I've scored loner for the blue horror down there. I've scored martyred and frantic exchange, which means I score combination strike. So that's a total of five glories, and that means I score great gains. So that's another five. It's great gains, five glory. Great gains is two, oh, so sorry. it's five altogether. So you can draw everything up and we'll show your cards. So it's time to roll for round three. Kind of feels a little bit like going through the motions, but we'll see. Two crits, a 
missing one of them all. You proper crit yourself tonight. One crit. I presume you're going first. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do something absolutely nuts at this point. Uh, I think you could pretty much pass every turn. You're still going to win. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I could run. I could run Vortimus away, which feels like they'd be like the most sensible thing to do. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a bit of fun. So I'm gonna charge with Navia. She's gonna go one, two, three, four through that uh, lethal hex there. Through a lethal hex. Through a lethal hex. So I will be scoring calculated risk. And she's gonna shoot at old Korsh over here. There's two two swords. Comes a double crit. No, no complete miss. And that's a miss. So you do get one glory though. I do for... get one glory for calculated risk. And in the power step, I am going to do some shenanigans. I'm going to put Empowered Sorcery on Vortimus. Anything for you? I'm going to put Substance Siphon on Korsh the Sneak to give him three dodge. <laughs> nice. I'm going to play Daylight Robbery. Oh, what's that one? If I roll a hammer or a crit, I take one glory point from you. That's why I said I'm going to add on Insult to Injury. I'm sorry, Pete. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to play the Fameway Crystal onto Draknar. Well, though. Uh, back to you. I've got no, oh, I've got nothing to do. Okay, I'm also going to play Haymaker. <laughs> nice. I've still got nothing. Okay. Oh, actually, I have. This is really mean. I'm going to play Mischievous Spirits. Okay. I'm going to move that one to there. I'm going to move this one to there. Okay, I'll move this one. You can't move it into a lead. Oh, you can move this one into a lead, yeah. place, can't you? I don't think it makes much difference, but I will move this one to... Actually, I'll move this one to here. I'm going to move that one there. I'll move this one this way. Okay. Uh, I've got nothing else to play. It's onto my first go, and I'm going to charge with Draknar using the uh, Fameway. Fameway. He might as well have a go at Vortimus. Okay, I am going to use ER as instant shield. Well, I've got a crit and oh, a crit. Is that two crits? No, it was a crit and a lightning. I've got one lightning, so I can re roll defense dice for this attack just to. Keep rubbing salt in those wounds. Good, 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 good. I've got three defense dice as well. So I've got Haymaker. He rolls three swords normally, so it's five swords. Awesome. Oh my god. Well, there's a giant fu for the rest of it, and nothing in my power step. For my second activation, I'm going to have a shot at um, Draknar with Waters. Yep. Oh. Another crit, is it's that? A crit oh, success. What is for? It's a crit success, so you get, yeah, you get one defense dice, don't you? Was it a crit oh, no, success? Oh no, yeah, it was a crit success, yeah. Was it a crit success, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's, I don't know how many wounds to him. Three. Three? Yeah, because it's guy he's got empowered sorcerer, which is plus, plus one. Holy sorcerer. Okay, Okay, actually, bottle changes two on it. Okay, well he's dead. Anything you passed up? Uh, no. Okay, my second go. I'm just going to use Cautious Ability to move back there. <laughs> just because, I just, Cause yeah. can, can, can! Well, just, why not? I mean, I've got nothing else to do. Nothing okay. else to lose. Uh, nothing in my power step. Okay, I'm, I'm going to pass out now. I'm going to pass too. Oh. I've got literally nothing I can achieve at all, and I've scored nothing at the end. Wow. I've, so, scored, I've scored aggressive strategy at the end. Which one's that? Is that score five, five surge cards? Five surge cards. I've actually scored all of my objectives. For which I can only apologise. You should have had a perfect match. You would have done great with that. 22 glory. I think it's the highest eyes scoring total we've ever seen with 22 glory, and it's unsurprising that it did so well in the Vassal tournament. I think you might have had him come out in a slightly better order, uh, or a preferential order. Everything. Everything worked. Everything worked. Everything worked. Everything and worked. nearly every dice roll you made had a crit in it. There were a couple you missed, but I think yeah. you either critted or didn't that get anything. That was just sick and I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, the, I think the deck is really neat. I'm never, I'm never happy, I have to say, I'm never happy about um, longboarding. I, and I, and I it's, it's, it comes down to this thing that we've talked about before, where there's having a fun game and, and there's having, having a, a competitive, competitive game. game. Yeah. And I kind of feel like 
it's fun for me, but it's no fun. <laughs> it's no fun for you. Well, in a competitive situation, that's what you want, right? You want to absolutely trounce your opponent, yeah, absolutely. smash them into the ground. Yeah. But if you're having a more social game, you know, it's it's a dick move. Basically, yeah, to yeah. longboard in a social game. Yeah, so it's really difficult. I mean, and it worked perfectly. I mean, it all, they all came off, but it's a really, it's a really beautifully engineered deck. I mean. That is fantastic. I mean, you were even down to like your first attack at the beginning. You missed and you scored a uh, warning shot. It's like yeah, just just everything just worked. So I mean, I. A dream. Not that we know anyone who relies on missing an attack to score a warning <laughs> shot and then getting a crit, you know, success. But you know, I drew into Lona at exactly the right time to score. And I, I, you know, you 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 killed somebody and that scored me martyred, which yeah. gave me my second, gave me my second uh, surge card to score combination strike. When I'd already scored three of them, I think. So I was really thinking, oh, I'm not going to score combination strike. I drew into martyred. I mean, I, I gambled and I played all those five thingy cards at the beginning five power cards at the beginning that was a gamble and it paid off because I drew into another surge card yeah but then I drew into Lona which then meant I could score great games it was just it was just sick and then combined with Kacharik turning up right next to Felhoof and rolling double two, crits two crit or whatever hits. it was yeah, yeah just like pfft. I mean just everything went I was absolutely there. I was absolutely and I, I apologise and, but also thank you to Eric for a really <laughs> great deck but like I say I, I would feel bad doing that week after week Long yeah, boarding, yeah. Uh, that that kind of thing. I think longboarding is, and Eric, this isn't anything personal to you, but longboarding is a massive dick move uh, in most situations. <laughs> I'm not sure you're the right person to <laughs> be talking to you about no, that right I'm now. Completely <laughs> balanced in my opinion here, and it's not influenced in any way. But people who do that need to go and have. Uh, and yeah, I'm in a social game. I think it's a bit of a knob move to do because it really is. Playing to the step, but that's the difference between a social game and a competitive. It's difficult game. though because you know, even in a social game, you don't turn up to not win. So it's, I, I think no, it's but, hard. I think it's hard. I mean, I, you, you, I think you wouldn't keep doing it. So if we were, if we met of an evening and I longboarded the first game and I won twenty-two, whatever, I don't think in the second game I'd do the same because I think I'd be feeling a bit embarrassed. But <laughs> <laughs> this is why we don't come very high in tournaments. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. we always feel bad when we beat the other person. <laughs> We're like, yeah. sorry, I've rolled another crit, sorry. Whereas yeah. people who are in tournaments, they're like, suck it, there's my crit. Yeah. Uh, but you know, if like I was that, playing but... in a tournament, I know that I would have lost the ball roll off, I wouldn't have been able to longboard you, and then Kacharik would have teleported in and missed twice. Well, I mean, <laughs> now I know what your deck does, uh, which is basically win, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I know kind of the theme of your deck is just trying to stay away from me a bit. So if we play the second game, and this is again where I always say, I think that if you have that roll off at the start and you're playing a best three, whoever wins the first time should automatically lose the second time to the other person. And they go, right, I know what you're doing. You're going to longboard if you get the chance. So I'm going to put the boards dead on yeah. and I'm just going to come gunning for you regardless and try and take out Vortimus first. But it's quite a clever deck because although you say you're going to take out Vortimus first, he's not that key. Most of the most of the objectives don't rely on it. No, but you, you like getting the blue horror to score... Um, but in the non in the non longboard game, I pretty much I pretty much do that straight away. Yeah, you just bring straight away. Yeah. And once the blue horror's down there, you're like, okay, well, where do I go? Yeah, um, I mean, the despoilers have got the bodies to be able to throw one towards the blue horror, yeah, they and have, the others they towards. Have. And and I they think have. if you lose Vortimus, you do lose all those spell upgrades, which you know, it are makes a bit it, of a the deck waste. is the deck is less good, but it, it kind of it kind of works because that was what Eric was saying when I was talking to him about it a lot of it works as long as you've got some bodies mm. a lot of it keeps working and he, said, and he said actually if you've just got the blue horror alive you can score most of your objectives mm. um, because you can score obviously you can score calculated risk but you could score you've probably scored martyred if everybody else has been blasted off the board yeah um, shortcut you can score with the blue horror because you can use deceitful step um, trying to think what else is in the deck off the top of my but you head. can you can score uncontested is a bit tricky with just the uh, that one's trickier but uncontested but, but is still brilliant got... with the brew horror because if you get mischievous spirits or deceitful step and you, you can just teleport them into the right place yeah uh, and, and and score it so it's it's a tough deck i think to take down as is evidenced by his eric's excellent positioning in that tournament yeah i mean to have the eyes come that far up was just unheard of before that and i would say that you had a really good run of your cards in the right order in my last cards that I never got to, I had things like Spectral Wings, Restless Prize, Unnatural Truce, Sidestep, Blindside, all the really useful manoeuvre sort of cards. Which yeah, I mean, you almost had the opposite 
of me. Yeah. Everything came out of the wrong order. Which for you. tends to be my uh, my yeah, modus right operandi. <laughs> That's just generally how I roll. Yeah. Is, so, it, is it an experimental deck? Has 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 um, Andrew played with it much? Andrew will have to comment on that one. I think he says he's played with it some. Right. Um, but it can be. Uh, I think his words were basically, "It's fun to try and get it so you can score perfect match." It's not fun, Andrew. It's not fun at all. I didn't enjoy that. No, ironically, <laughs> I, I would have scored perfect match. You know? Yeah, you would have. Yeah. And I'm always wondering whether it might be better than say uncontested or something like that. Um, Start to play with the formula. What is what is perfect match? Perfect match is you have to score ten how of your objectives. How many glory is it? It's four glory. Yeah, it's probably not better than uncontested. To be so, which one is the other one? The one you scored? Is it five glory for, or is it four glory for scoring Uncont five? Uh, uncontested is no for scoring the five objectives. Oh, aggressive strategy is only two glory. Oh, okay, for scoring two surge, uh, five surge. It almost feels like it's worth taking out um, aggressive strategy for perfect match. Because I think yeah. if you can score five. Um, Surge cards, you can probably score 10 objectives overall. I mean, yeah. you scored all of them in that one. And yeah. Perfect Match is for glory, not to glory. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's possibly and so. And neither of them have to be I third end so, phase. Because it doesn't brick it up anymore, because aggressive strategy pretty much. Again, it was the penultimate card. So, again, I was really lucky, because if it comes out any earlier, it starts to be really tricky. Well, Perfect Match was, uh, again, Perfect Match was in my first three. So, I, I don't know, I think maybe a second game, if the boards were different. Maybe yeah. it would be a different story. Maybe if my cards were a bit nicer, maybe it'd be a different story, but yeah, we'll have to see, I guess. So I hope everyone at home enjoyed that. Andrew, I'm sorry your deck didn't quite fare as well. I wonder, in the same position, what would you have done differently? Because obviously we do pick these decks up. And he did give me copious notes, but as is always the way. Like Andrew, it's very unlike, yeah. I was quite yeah. worried. Yeah. But uh, it's just one of those things that you read it, you think, that sounds fair enough. And then you hit the ground running and you panic <laughs> and <over>. scream <laughs> and fall over and just start screaming out loud. So yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. But it's nice to see the eyes being able to pilot a deck and being able to do really well with it. Yeah, I have to say, it, it, it's, yeah, it was really nice. Well, I really, obviously, I really enjoyed that experience, which obviously you really did, but it was nice to pilot the eyes and actually have, not be thinking, oh my God, it's about to all fall apart. All Everything's the time. Yeah. gonna come crumbling down. <laughs> yeah. um, but it, obviously it's not as much fun as trying to score Method in the Madness, but um, it was a, it was a, like, like we've, we've said this a lot, I'm rambling on now, but all well put together decks a joy to play because they just kind of work yeah you know, it's all kind of seamless I suppose is the word. and that's not to suggest that my deck from Andrew isn't a well put together deck I think it just all the cards didn't really come out of the way that I no and them. I suppose that's I mean I we, one game isn't enough to tell I mean when we, we when we've played the mm. Grand Clash winning decks you can tell it's well oiled and just everything purrs you know pretty much whatever order the cards come out and there's almost no permutations where it'll brick this one, I think uh, there are permutations where it will brick, and I think if, if it, we flip, had the flip reverse where you'd had the, the better cards and I'd had the, and mine had bricked, then it would have been a totally different game. Could have possibly, or if the board, board layout makes a big difference yeah, in this kind does. of thing, because my guys aren't that slow, and if I had some of my more movement shenanigan cards early, you could have a lot more beastmen breathing down your neck early on, which could put the pressure on you, yes. and then you have to start worrying about keeping yourself alive rather than going for some of the objectives sometimes yeah. but when you're sat at the back of the board like that yeah you can interestingly, just interestingly one of Eric's recommendations is if in doubt draw cards mm. but because I was in the driving seat I didn't I just get over pop shops and fortress so yeah probably I'm, well, maybe I should have been drawing cards that there's a way else I've got left I don't think you could have made that game today any better, today, to be today it didn't really matter in that match it didn't matter at all <laughs> no <laughs> so I hope you guys and girls enjoyed that at home do like subscribe follow and do all that lovely stuff uh, it really all does help us on the channel do Absolutely. check us out on Facebook as well and we'll see you soon maybe in the Beast Grave maybe in the Necromunda Underhive Ooh. bye bye <laughs>